I don't know how long it will last, of course, in the air. And normally I have it in dry ice. Oh. Um, and, I mean, its heat capacity is quite big, so. So we've come to London, right away from Nottingham, to have a look at something here at University College. One of the chemists here, Andrea Seller, told me that they had something really quite exciting to show us that would go on down well in our periodic video. So let's go in and see what it is. Welcome, Martin. Okay. Okay. I've been intrigued by mercury ever since I was a child, really. Ever since in National Geographic, I saw that fantastic photograph of a miner at Almaden who was actually sitting, floating in a vat of mercury. But I kind of wondered whether there was a way in which we could actually show solid mercury. And solid mercury is a very surprising observation made by James Dewar in the 19th century. And I thought the best thing to do would be to cast a bell. A bell? Oh. Well, a bell. And a friend of mine at King's College, Mark Medovnik, lent me his wooden template. And so what I decided to do is to actually make a mold in which I could cast a mercury bell. So, so I cast myself uh, a, a mold based on this in two halves, an upper half, which did the outside, and then a lower half, which did the inside. And now I had a beautiful sort of two halves which fit together with which I could cast the mercury. Well, then there was the problem of how to cool it. And my first thought, of course, you know, typical, you know, let's yeah. use liquid nitrogen. Yeah. That was a disaster yeah. because the mold started to crack. Right. So at that point, I thought, OK, let's be gentler. And I used dry ice acetone. So I filled a bucket with dry ice and acetone, put my mold in, let it cool down for a good hour. And then I started pouring in the mercury yeah. through the top through the top, yes. through the top. It was a nerve-wracking yes. process. Because of course you can't see anything. Yes. Well, when I was finally done, disaster struck. Yes. I couldn't get it out of the mold. Oh. So in the end, I had to take a chisel to the mold and smash yes. it apart. So this really will be one of a kind. I'm not sure that I'm going so to do this again. So you've broken again. the mold. I've broken the mold, unquestionably. Right. Um, it's been sitting in my minus 70 freezer for some time. So this is the freezer. And we should just have a look. So here we go. We'll open it. And there you can see the ice bucket, which actually contains my bell. Now, as I said, this is minus 70. It's quite cold. And here it is. You can see the mold. And here is the original. And there it is. There wow. is my bell. Is it heavy? Well, I think you should try it for yourself. Gosh, it's very heavy. It must be two or three kilos. I mean, it's not the most perfect bell in the world. Um, it, it, it needs a little trimming around the edges. Um, but it certainly looks like a bell. Yes. So, does it work? Well, that's the interesting question. And I've been, I've been sort of trying to, to, to get this perfect. The only thing is, I haven't got anything to ring it with. You'll realize that the inside of the bell you look inside it hasn't actually got a knocker um, so we're gonna have to find something else what's about my biro we could certainly try your biro if you wanted to try your biro are you ready not very exciting is it no let's do it together <laughs> work. now the thing about it is that yeah. if in fact I'd done yeah, my homework right good. at the beginning and I'd gone and looked up the elasticity, the stiffness, yeah. and so on of mercury, I would have realized that it's, in fact, rather softer than lead. Yes. And so one of the things you don't want to do is to drop the bell because it dents very, very yes. easily. Um, but yes, a slight disappointment that it doesn't ring loudly. Um, but it's certainly, I think, a very, very beautiful object. So did, why did you make it? Was it just for fun? Or were you trying to prove a real scientific point? No, I think this was entirely for fun. I mean, to do something sort of semi-impossible that I think nobody's tried before. And a mercury bell I've never heard of. And so I thought, you know, let's be the oh, first. Well, very well done. It's great to meet an innovator. <laughs> In a small way. And so here we go, back into the tomb. Very much like, like being in Egypt, I think, and seeing the mummy in its sarcophagus. 
Well, thank you very much.